Hi, Demi Jack here. Now, today we're talking about Powerpuff Girls, as you can probably know, as it's making the rounds in the news. The script for the live action Powerpuff Girl series has been leaked, and it's pretty bad. And I'm saying this as someone who watched the show back when I was a kid, like back in the 90s. It's pretty bad. Personally, in my honest opinion, I'm going to say this right here and right now. I don't think they should do a reboot of this show. I think specifically a live action reboot. The 2016 reboot was bad enough, but let's continue. Live action Powerpuff Girls to be reworked after campy script allegedly leaks. The Powerpuff Girls Next Rescue Mission has hit a snag. A day after the live action reboot edgy script reportedly leaked on Twitter, the CW, and mind you, the CW, all they do is make woke stuff, and I don't even mean that as an offense if you're woke. I mean, like, so woke that I'm pretty sure even woke people wouldn't even enjoy it. Confirmed that its adaption of Craig McCracken's popular animated TV series is being reimagined. The reason we do pass is sometimes things miss. CW's chairman and CEO Mark Pedrit, I don't know, Swedish or Polish or whatever, I don't know, said during the show's upfront prep call on Tuesday according to Deadline. We believe in the cast and in the writers Diablo Cody and Heather Ragnar and the executive producer Greg Berlanti. Hope I pronounced that right. And Studio Warner Brothers, in this case, the pilot didn't work. The scrap pilot starred Co Bennett as Blossom, Dave Dove. Cameron as Bubbles and Yana Perlute or whatever as Buttercups. The trio and the show's writers were all on board to continue with the next Path of Your Interrogation, which will premiere at some point after 2021, 2022 for schedule because we see enough elements in there we want to give another shot. Puras explains and it may have felt a little too campy and not rooted in reality. Damn straight because wait till you see the, the script leaked. He may have been referring to the version of the alleged script they made on the Twitter rounds on Monday in that version, which Peratz did not directly... I, I can't pronounce his name, and I'm not even going to try that I can pronounce his name, okay? Or her, or whatever. On Bubbles, Blossom, and Buttercup takes nudes, and Marathon SEX, with other super-powered people, presumably, and refer to life as one big hate boner. The, the, the writer would not confirm or deny that the leak accepts belong to the CW's project, claiming he hadn't seen the treats prior to his traffic call. And here's the leak from Upper Alakin Gaming. Someone apparently leaked the script for a new Powerpuff Girls movie. They talk about sharing each other's nudes, walking on each other while they have SEX, and a lot more. Fire everyone who's working on this and start over. Alright, I'm not going to read the script because even though I've been here is leaked because I believe they are copywriting striking people for reading the leaks. Now if you want to see an actual reading of the leak, somewhat he didn't say a lot of the words and stuff, but I recommend watching the quarterings video after this as he actually goes through the script and yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So, as you may know, these here are the casts and Personally, Bubbles, it, it looks like what Bubbles would look like as a, um, adult. Blossom looks like what Blossom would look like as an adult. But Buttercups, is Buttercups black? Like, is Buttercups black now? I'm pretty, like, that's like black or like, dark skin or whatever. I don't know. I could be wrong, but it looks like Buttercups is black or something. Or like, a POC. Anyway, I'm not reading this. But basically, I just want to show you the cast. Personally, I think... Buttercup looks weird. It doesn't look like anything Buttercup would look like in my idea of how an adult Powerpuff Girl would look like. Blossom, kind of spot on, kind of spot on. Blossom and Bubbles, kind of spot on. I mean, Blossom, it it's not right spot on, but close enough. But yeah, that, that, that's definitely what Bubbles would look like as an adult. Like, I think we can all animously agree. But however, the show is woke. I'm just saying that right now. The show is woke. And I mean that as someone who doesn't even care about woke stuff. Like, want to make something woke, I don't care. But I'm just pointing out the show is woke. And apparently Buttercups is a lesbian now. Like, apparently that's a thing. And yeah, it, it, it's stupid. And it is a disgrace to the original show. It should have never even been conceived, this TV series. Like, they should just fire everyone working on it and, and scrap the show completely and not even touch 
Powerpuff Girls, and I'm saying is this is someone who used to watch Powerpuff Girls as a kid, like every time it was on. I'm being honest, I was a Cartoon Network kid. Uh, yeah, I watched SpongeBob occasionally, and that was basically it on Nickelodeon, but mainly my shows consisted of, when I was a kid, Johnny Bravo, Powerpuff Girls, Carriage the Cowardly Dog, Cow and Chicken, I Am Weasel. Like, that's basically my TV lineup when I was a kid. Plus, yeah, I would occasionally switch to Nickelodeon and watch Spongebob when it was on. And I would watch Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z in the morning before school. Like, that's my TV lineup when I was a kid. And, to be honest, Powerpuff Girls is my favourite show, besides Johnny Bravo when I was a kid, and I don't think this TV show should be even be thought of. Like, in case you don't know, the actual creator of Powerpuff Girls didn't even want the 2006 reboot. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't want this piece of shit. Like, that's all it is. Excuse me for swearing, but that's all it is. It's a piece of shit. Yes, they kind of captured Bubbles as an adult, but Blossom... Sort of, I guess. Bubbles, yeah, 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 that's definitely not Buttercup. That's definitely not Buttercup. But Bubbles, that's, that's definitely Bubbles. But, yeah, it, 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 it's bullshit. It's a disgrace to every 90s kid. Anyone who made it has to be a fucking boomer. Like, uh, that's basically it. Who thinks that all millennials and, you know, Generation Zers are fucking woke. I mean, I'm not woke. I'm, I'm just pointing it out there. I'm like, don't really get involved in politics that much. I mean, I, I kind of like what the American politics when it's on. But, yeah. I'm not, like, super politically active and, and stuff. This TV show is bullshit, I'm saying right here. It, it, it basically, there is a line where Bubbles says to, I think, Buttercups that Blossom sees their grandpa... I didn't even know they had a grandpa for starters. Her and her grandpa don't agree diff politically and they're trying to make a political statement or something and I, I don't know. But it's bullshit. It's something woke people would watch and I'm pretty sure not even woke people would watch this complete garbage because how based out of reality it is. It's so based out of reality that it's not even reality. Like, there's a scene where Buttercups is having sex with someone else and... Blossom walks in and it's like, yeah, yeah, that wouldn't happen. That wouldn't happen. Everyone knows that the Powerpuff Girls can't age. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. Anyway, it, this video is kind of a rant, but yeah, that's my personal opinion on the Powerpuff Girls live action TV show. I thought I would share to everyone about that as this is basically my childhood. They have wrecked my childhood. Like, I thought when the 2016 Powerpuff Girls came out that they wrecked my childhood. But boy, have they wrecked my childhood now. This was basically my childhood. Like, number one TV show besides Johnny Bravo. Number one TV show besides Johnny Bravo. Hopefully they never do a live action reboot of Johnny Bravo. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But childhood basically wreck i have no childhood now that's basically it make sure to like subscribe and comment down below and let me know what you think of this garbage tv show i'm pretty sure everyone can agree with me that it's freaking garbage anyway i'll see you all later i know this is an ordinary content as normally i talk about gaming yeah i'll talk about pop culture on the side but this is more of a rant than anything else anyway i'll see you all later stay safe and I'll see you probably tomorrow with a Let's Play. Anyway, I'm out. Demi Jack out. See you all later. I have no childhood anymore. Childhood destroyed.